Well, hi, everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. Well, it's Wednesday again, and it's time to go over part two of my interview with Dr. Brian Peck, where we review the controversial video, Plandemic. Well, in this week's episode, we're going to look at Plandemic as a thinly veiled anti-vaxxer propaganda video. Now, even though YouTube reversed its stance on this video and released it for general use, I still have it over on my alternate channel, and I'd like to take a moment and talk about a couple of things that we're going to be doing with Bob the Science Guy in the near future. First of all, this channel is driven by the viewers. You came to me because you liked what I had and you want to see more of it. And I've been kind of getting away from that because I've been going off into my own interest, specifically science and medicine. And you basically want to see me destroy flurfs and debunk conspiracies. Well, I heard you loud and clear. So there will be no more science or medicine on Bob the Science Guy. All of that is going to be moved over to Common Sense Science. And if you want to see it, go ahead and drop a subscription over there. Hit that little bell icon and you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. My main channel will remain Bob the Science Guy. But I'm going to get back to my roots. I'm going to concentrate on debunks. I'm going to concentrate on conspiracies, Tartaria, anti-vax. Basically, what I want to do is I want to give you the things that you came to my channel for in the first part. Now, many of you have been very supportive of my science and medical work, and I do appreciate that. And I would like to give you a channel where you can actually see that, and that's what Common Sense Science is going to be for. You can go over there if you want that content and be a member of both channels. Now, I learned a little trick the other day on YouTube. So, for example, over here on Common Sense Science, this video, The Questionable Hero's Journey, I released on Common Sense Science last week. There'll be another one today for part two. That's the playlist right here, Hijacking a Crisis, where I'm putting my work on Plandemic. However, you may notice these videos are all from Bob the Science Guy. So even though this is the Common Sense Science page, I can put videos and playlists from Bob the Science Guy over here. Now let's look over here on my regular channel, Bob the Science Guy. We'll see that this works both ways. Now here you see my currently released videos. This is the one that I put out last Monday. You'll see my series that are currently running on my channel. Then you're going to see the Common Sense Science Channel playlists here. And then these down here are playlists of series that I've finished, but I want to leave up. So even though you won't get an announcement for a video that is being released on Common Sense Science, you will be able to see it on the Bob the Science Guy page, and vice versa. You won't get announcements from Bob the Science Guy over on Common Sense Science, but you'll be able to see the playlists. And I hope that you enjoy that. So let's go on with part two of the interview with Dr. Brian Peck, where we show that Plandemic is an anti-vax movement financed and presented by anti-vax proponents. You'll see the link to it appear in the center of the screen. Just click on it and it'll take you right over. So signing out from Northern Michigan, this is Bob the Science Guy. Thank you again for your support of this channel and hopefully your support of Common Sense Science. More than 600 people subscribed last week. I think that if we get a good show today, we may be able to hit a thousand total subscribers over there. That would be pretty cool.